absolutely lovely morning here at Solaris Palace. Just taking in the view while we wait for breakfast. It's about seven o'clock now. Breakfast starts at 7.30 and it runs till 10.30 if you're interested in the times. Good morning. Good morning, guys. I think this is like the earliest we've been awake on holiday in my, my memory. We are gonna go for some breakfast. No idea what we're gonna do today other than eat some breakfast. Maybe do a little bit of exploring down Salou as well. Yeah, we've got nine euros on our little H10 scanny thing, so we might get some <laughs> Snacks by the pool as well, then it's an all inclusive. We forgot to switch over lunch for dinner. Dun, dun, We've got Roadhouse booked at 8 o'clock and we didn't switch over lunch for dinner, which is very upsetting. You have yeah. to do that the night before if you want to do it, uh, so don't forget to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, there's nothing about the sight of Red Force in the morning. So, just arrived at the breakfast buffet, so we have some fruit if you feel like some fruit this morning. Some more fresh fruit. All the plates are just underneath as well. We've got... I don't actually know what that is. Hmm, potato fish meat. One of, the, one of those options. Bacon, corn, more bacon, pancakes, beans. I'm trying to not get a bubble with my eggs. Some eggs, hopefully without water. <laughs> Some other form of meat, sausages. All the mm. sausages. Hot this dog. Chorizo. Oh, chorizo. Uh, normal sausage. Got some churros. Ooh, what's in here? I don't know. Oh, chocolate sauce. Little cakes. Bit of a salad bar. Some fresh meat. And then we've got the bread. This is the toaster. And then we got some more fresh meat and cheeses. Quite a good selection, really. Some more fresh fruit, some yogurt, activity type of thing. Little donuts, cereal and milk. You like biscuits or crackers? More cereal. Ooh, this looks interesting. A chocolate cake, loaf. Hmm. There's another toaster over here by the bacon section. We got some bread rolls. Again, plates underneath, and there's some pastries. This is probably my favourite bit. You can get like fried eggs, and you can ask for omelette for this part. Yeah, always a good part. Right. I've just, I've just, uh, I've just got a little bit of a raised nose on my tongue because I've been eating too much pineapple and the Lord goes, oh, it's probably because the pineapple eats you back. It does. If you eat pineapple, the pineapple will eat you back. That's what do you why mean, it's a fat eat your back? What do you mean, eat your back? Not your back. Like, no, it'll, not, you bite it. That's you, not the problem. You bite it. The problem it. is the eat bit. No, you bite it and it'll go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nonsense. It's true. It's true. It's, it's, true. it's, it's the fat. It's the fat. Laura said I'm going to get a cup of tea. Educate that with it. <laughs> what is that? It was like a cough tea. <laughs> so I put <laughs> in the machine, right, I found these, which is sugar, I think. And it had English breakfast tea. But I couldn't see like a little container of milk. So I put water in, just a, a hot water. And then I put hot milk. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so we've come into the main part of Salou now. We are basically near the beachfront and the fountain. Last time we were here this wasn't working so it's actually quite nice to see the fountain on again. I do believe they'll have the show on tonight where it's all lit up so hopefully we'll be able to catch some of that as well. Yeah so the plan today is to just walk around Salou a bit more. I mean when we came here 12 days we came last time? Yeah, 12 days in September. Yeah, uh, I feel like we didn't actually film a lot of salutes. I, I don't know how we managed it. <laughs> it's my, it was my main like regret, so we're gonna we're gonna explore it a little bit better today. Yeah, see what's knocking around. So we'll take you with us. So I've just found this just near the fountain and it does tell you what times it will be on. So for today, which is Saturday, 10.30 p.m. So we will check back here later. 
Okay, so it looks like they've got some kind of digital scavenger hunt going on. Uh, I'm in the, I, I, excuse the bad pronunciation. I'm in the first, which is they're currently on the I'm in first street, I think. Uh, and you can do a digital sca scavenger hunt. You've got to download the app. Uh, apparently, there's eight riddles. I'm not quite sure what that means, but um, that will take about 60 minutes to do. Sounds fun. I think one of the things I really like about Salou is just how clean it is. It really is. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if this is the same for kind of every other Spanish place. I know they put a lot into the public services and stuff, but yeah, everywhere is just so clean. Yeah, it's got a blue flag beach over there as well, just to our left, which we'll show you on the way back. It's like one of our favourite places. Yeah. Um, just like kind of walking down here, it's just, uh, yeah, it's great. I really great. do love this walk. It hits me in the feels. If I think of Salou, this is one of the things that you think of this row. Lined okay, so yeah, we've just come to the uh, Jaime the First monument just in front of the beach, but we are being photobombed by a seagull, as you can see. <laughs> so maybe not quite getting the best shots there, but this is really cool. As I say, halfway, probably halfway between the end of this strip and the port, which is a bit further down. Um, also facing this, if you are interested, is a Burger King next door to a McDonald's as well, if you are staying in this neck of the woods. So, question. Do you have any like games that you play whilst you're just walking around on holiday? We love to play dog. Oh, I love dog. It's a very simple game. If you spot a dog, you say dog. You say dog. <laughs> Beautifully simple. Um, this is great, it works great, especially especially at night and especially in Barcelona as well where there were just so many dogs. Yeah, yeah so I was just wondering if you guys kind of do anything similar on holiday, have you got any holiday traditions that you like to do? Yeah, let us know. We've come up to a slightly smaller set of fountains now and you can see the wind blowing it towards us. I'm gonna, gonna take a walk through that, it looks awesome. Yeah, it's uh, I honestly don't remember seeing this when we came last time. Um, Laura likes to write snails in all of her greeting cards. Yeah, you know, you know it's just became a, a sort of thing I did when I was younger and I can't stop doing it now while people think, hey, where's my snail? Yeah. <laughs> so we've just come to the very end. Um, I was going to show the boats, but I've just realised there's uh, some huts in the way, so I'll go, I'll go around. <laughs> Um, but this is the beach. Apologies if there's any wind noise, it's just picked up a little bit then. Yeah, beautiful sandy beaches, can't complain. I am a beach person, but Laura isn't, so we don't typically tend to go on the beach. I mean, I'm not so much, I don't love it so much that I'll fight <laughs> to go on it. Mm. I mean, it is good. I do like being on a beach bar and stuff and having cocktails, but... See, I'll do that. Uh, although, when we went to Barcelona one time, there was a beach, but instead of sitting there, we sort of sat on a grassy hill at the side of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a beach, which is Barcelona, which is probably about a mile, mile and a half long, with the smallest grassy verge at the end of it, and we sat there. <laughs> it's taken it out. If that, if that tells, I don't tells really you all you like need to know. Sand. Really. Yeah. It's the sand's fault. Anakin Skywalker will be. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Yeah. Uh, we'll show you the boats. Yeah, and here is the, I'm not sure if you call it a port, but here's some boats. There's a guy taking his jet ski around there. Uh, yeah, must be fun to just be able to take the boat out into the open water. Probably just worth mentioning as well, I'm not sure if you can make these signs out, but that's paragliding and jet skiing there as well. Oh yeah, there we go. I mean, it does look cool. It does. Yeah. I want to get you on that in a million years, but... Uh, I don't mind once you're up in the air, but do you start off in the water? Because that's the bit I don't like the idea of. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, don't like sand. I mean, don't I assume, like water. Yeah, yeah, don't like <laughs> Do sand, well. don't like water. <laughs> Earth, wind, fire. Oh, all terrible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'd give it a go. I mean, it can't be as bad as Sky Coaster. Oh my gosh, no. No. See, we can drag ourselves on that again this year. Yeah, Sky Coaster, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, Google Sky Coaster 
Uh, fun Spot Orlando. Yeah, that'll do it. Sky Coast to Fun Spot Orlando. Um, yeah, terrifying. <laughs> we did that, but we lost the footage. We lost our footage and we got, well, we didn't lose it. We got the USB stick, took it home, went to upload it, and yeah, it, the file was corrupted. Yeah. Yeah, what a shame. Oh well, win some, you lose some. Yeah, it looks like you can do excursions from here as well, which takes you to uh, Almeta de Mar, which I've never heard of, to be honest. And this Cala Calafat, which looks interesting again. Apologies for my pronunciation, it must be terrible. Um, yeah, and then there's a couple of sailing boats here as well, which all looks, yeah, all looks very interesting. And then an excursion to Cambrils, which is a neighbouring town. So we just saw this from the other side, and we thought it was sort of one of those you can just walk through. Now, you can, but I think you'll get a bit wet. And we're not I think I might do it. I think I might do it. I'm, ro it? I'm absolutely roasting you. Okay. Do it. So, okay. <laughs> oh my god, you're drenched! I'm coming over! I thought I was just going to get a light sprinkling. <laughs> oh my god! Have you just been on Tatuki Splash there? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, wow, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I bet you'll dry soon, you know, it's boiling today. I, mean, I know, I'm so wet though. <laughs> right, let's crack on. <laughs> so I was just looking at these slides because I'm always tempted to have a go, but my, my uh, not love of the sea puts me off a little bit. Yeah, we're popping a couple of clips here, but Salu has like quite a few bars and beach bars and stuff on its beach front, which is awesome. Got a bit of volleyball over here as well. Um, we didn't want to film them explicitly just because there were kids playing on them, but there are quite a lot of like play areas just at the edge of the beach as well for the kids, which is cool. So we decided to stop by for a drink at the Rock and Grill Cafe. It's proper hard rock fun, but... Not, not associated. Got pina colada, Dean's got the same. Very fancy served in a, a pineapple. There's a birthday going on behind us. <laughs> Laura's getting absolutely trolled <laughs> by his birthday, it's hilarious. <laughs> but I, I'm, I, li I, li I like how it looks, I like the presentation. Okay, so we're just kind of walking down the main strip in Salou now. Uh, you've got some brilliantly sized tat shops here. I don't know about you guys, but we love a good tat shop. Yeah, I'm excited to go and have a bit of a browse later on. Yeah, like 20 variations of pretty much exactly the same bridge magnet. <laughs> yeah, it's great. We need a new magnet. We do, we got ours home and I put it on my desk and knocked it off like immediately and it split in two. <laughs> it was really, it, it was a last minute purchase when we were just leaving and it's got like Dragon Khan on it but no Shambhala so I think that tells you how old it is. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, maybe, maybe written in the stars, we'll get a new one. Uh, we're going to head up to the Red Lion now. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll have a pint there or not but they do a lot of quizzes back in the day when Laura used to come here with the parents. So we're going to see if we've got some on now. Long chicken, what a great name for a sandwich. So we've stopped by Fargies and this time there's no competition, we've both got the same one. We've got the Kinder Bueno ice cream. We've decided to get some sangria to go along with our ice creams at Fargies. And they've brought as well some little mixed nuts and crisps. Laura only likes this one, so I'll try and leave all them. But I'm, just, I'm really bad for that, I'm these all the time. <laughs> Um, if you've seen our last series, you'll see that we came here and absolutely loved it, so we're back. We've got a couple of drinks to start, we've got a JD and Coke, again, a very generous measure, and I've got a lemon margarita, which gave me a bit of a brain freeze. So our starter has just arrived and the live music's just started. We got some bruschetta with some toppings, we've got chicken wings and ribs, we've got jalapeno poppers, we've got pistachio bravas and some mozzarella sticks. Okay, so we've just finished with the Roadhouse. Um, give you a bit of a review now. What do you think of the starter? I love the starter. So, if you saw our last video of the Roadhouse, we didn't really like the chicken wings. This time, the whole thing was amazing. It was delicious. Yeah, I could buy. I could buy into a chicken wing and pull the end of it, and every single bit of flesh was just off it. Yeah, it was, it was so really tender. tender. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, the main, I thought the main was pretty good. The cheese was, the cheese was interesting. Um, it was kind of like a, how would you describe that? I don't know, it was a lot of it for a start, but it was 
like rubbery. It was like a cheese pulley. patty almost. It was like someone had heated up a frozen cheese patty. Yeah, I've, I'm not saying they did that by the way, no. but it's what it was like. It was, it, I don't know if it was mozzarella, I'm not sure what cheese it was, um, but it was very like pulley stringy cheese. But I just didn't like the texture as much as I had previously. I'm not sure if it was on last time. I might have to go back and give that video a watch. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we still thought it was like fantastic. Like this is, it's it's like comparing a Rolls Royce with a Bentley, like kind of thing. Like, uh, you know, still fantastic. Yeah. Just, just that little, that little niggle is all. But also, shout out to Damien. Uh, who came over and said hello and we're yeah it was great to meet you and we're happy we could help you uh, choose a place to go for this Hey guys, so once again, we got to sign off the vlog last night. So you would have seen from the footage that we did the fountain show and we also went to Temple Bar. That was a really good night and yeah, would, would highly recommend going there for anyone coming to salute. With that being said guys, if you have liked the video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.